What's up everybody, Mike here. I made the perfect BLT, and I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade mayonnaise and why I bake my bacon. Now you are welcome to cook your bacon for your BLT however you want, but this is how I cook all of my bacon. I put it onto a wire sheet before putting it onto a baking sheet so that all of the drippings can collect into the pan. I then save my bacon drippings to cook with. I recommend you do as well. So these are going to go into a cold oven set to 400 degrees, and I'm gonna check on them at about 20 minutes to see how they are coming along. Like I said, cook your bacon however you want to, but if you wanna save some of that bacon fat and render it for cooking, this is how I like to do it. Making a mayonnaise is super simple. You can do it with four ingredients. I have salt, a single egg, some lemon juice, and some oil. I'm using safflower oil so that there isn't a significant amount of taste coming from the oil itself. I mostly wanna taste the lemon juice and the fat of that yolk. So I'm gonna walk you through making your actual mayonnaise next. In a food processor bowl, you are going to dump your eggs, or your egg, I should say, a pinch of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and then you're gonna want about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just squeezing it through a sieve so that I don't have to worry about seeds getting in there. And now while this is blending, I am going to slowly start to stream in my oil. Once I see that there is mayo clinging to the sides of the bowl, that's when I stop pouring in my oil and I'm gonna scrape down the sides of this bowl and then blitz it again to get the right consistency. It may need a little bit more oil, it may just need to be blended, but I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for when this is finally done next. My mayonnaise is done. It is clinging to a spatula here and that is exactly what I am wanting. I did end up adding just a little bit more oil off camera just to get the consistency that I wanted. But now that I have it where I want, I'm just going to refrigerate it for about two hours before I'm ready to put it onto my BLT. I'm gonna show you all of the assembly process since you have now seen the most difficult portion of this uh, in a minute. It's finally time to make my lunch and to make my perfect BLT. We are gonna take my homemade mayonnaise and we're gonna slather it onto both the top and bottom of my sandwich here. Then after I have put on the mayo, all I need to do is season this sandwich. So I'm gonna put on some salt, again on both sides. And if you're not seasoning your sandwiches, then you are not getting the maximum amount of flavor. So I put down all of my seasonings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my lettuce. I have three nice thick cut slices of tomato that I'm going to put down. And then this giant stack of bacon is going to be shingled on here. And that is how you make the perfect BLT. I really hope you make the mayo. And if you want the bread that I made, go ahead and check out my perfect sandwich loaf video that I linked in the bottom. But for right now, just look at my face.